Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. Capturing video from the webcam is just about as easy as it was to capture photos from the webcam. So without uh, wasting any time here, let's jump right in. We're in lab number four, exercise number three, add video capture. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is modify that click event handler for video this time instead of for the photo. So let me just go ahead and grab all that code. We're in the itemdetail.js file around line 50 or so. Um, we are going to replace this whole event handler so that when somebody clicks on the video menu item or flyout item, we will essentially do the same thing that we did before, uh, in a nutshell at any rate. But this time what we're going to do is capture UI video. Uh, we're going to set the format that we hope to capture and then capture file async. Once it's complete, then we will grab the file that's passed in and we're going to call the show share UI, which as we noted in the previous lesson will uh, pop open the share UI like we've seen before, which uh, will call this on data requested event. And here what we're going to do is just add another else statement. So this time we would expect uh, the photo property to not be null, then process it. Uh, so here, let's um, go to step number two, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this whole thing, but really the only part we need is just this part right here. And so if you take a look at it, all we're doing right now is just setting storage items to video. Uh, we're, we're just sharing out, I think, the location not necessarily the actual file in the share. So just keep that in mind. It's not going to do like we did previously where we have a thumbnail and then the larger version of, of the bitmapped image. Uh, this time we're just going to expect that some item URI is, is passed in. So let's just confirm that. Uh, I'm gonna replace this whole thing here, the whole uh, on data requested. Paste that in, great. All right, so this is just the part pertaining to video. Everything else should stay the same. And then there's one last thing that it tells us to, we need to do. Uh, we need to, in addition to webcam access, now we need uh, potentially microphone access. So we go to the capabilities tab and we're gonna need the microphone as well. And we'll save that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get this working now. I'm gonna go ahead and run the app. And we'll go to the breaded shrimp balls. All right, I'm gonna allow the microphone to work. And Mr. Tibbles has wanted on the video for a long time and now you have made your debut, my friend. Say hello, we'll go ahead and take the video. There's Mr. Tibbles, hello and take the video. There's Mr. Tibbles, hello. Okay, and all right. And as you can see, there's uh, just the video.wmv file. So we just get something under storage items. Um, so uh, it's just, like I said, just a file name, a URI, and we're gonna report completed. All right. Okay, so this is exciting. Uh, we've integrated some nice features into our app and now it's time to learn a little more about the lifetime of our apps. What happens when a device goes to sleep? How should our app respond? And how should we, re we restore the previous session? We'll learn more about this in the next lesson. Thank you.